All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, been away for a little while, but uh, I got a couple new pistols and I think a rifle or two I got to go over. But the first one, I recently got rid of my uh, my Glock 34. Uh, it just wasn't working out. I don't know why. It just I ended up not liking it, and it kind of put me in a, a weird spot. I, I was probably gonna go for the the Q5 match PPQ and I might still get that one but for now this thing came up in trade and a lot cheaper than I would have paid for it but uh, I ended up trading something out for it anyway we'll just go over this this is the Canic or the Yannick however you want to say it TP9 SFX and this is their you know, competition pistol. So, what comes in it, first of all, you know, you got your patch rod and then your brush, this is for the paddle holster, owner's manual, you know, all the boring stuff. And then, this is how it's gonna be set up. So, you're gonna have the two mags. This holster, it's, uh, it's okay. It's kinda weird that the, uh, the magazine guard release is on the inside, but you really don't have to press it uh, to, to remove the the, mag, or the firearm. It's just kind of strange, but it works. So, and it's got a low cut for drawing, so you don't have to come all the way out with it. No, it's, it's not bad, but that's it. The new one that comes with the with the Canix. It is actually pretty nice. My buddy just got uh, the new Elite, and that thing looks really sweet. We're going to check it out in a couple weeks. But it does come with two magazines. They are Mechar mags, and you do have this little you know, shitty Glock-style reloader if you want. But the magazines are real nice. They are Mechar. They are plus twos, so they're... They're 20 round mags each, so you get 21 rounds, which is nice. Uh, they do make a low capacity model of this, you know, for 10 rounders. The guys live in those those awful states, but I can't really talk because we might be one of those very soon. And yeah, we'll see what happens there. I, uh, this is they make two different uh, two different colors. This is the the tungsten Cerakote. It is over a phosphate finish. They also make a uh, they make an FDE right now, and I think I like the FDE version better. Uh, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. This, this does work, and on this thing, it is a uh, it's dovetailed front and rear, and it does have uh, it has Warren tactical sights. Let's see Warren, they're nice sights, and it does come with a red fiber optic insert and they also do have green inserts for it that come with it but I think I like the red if it'll come in it's got a nice U notch uh, so that's how it's gonna stay for right now and it does have a removable uh, RMR cover or red dot cover the rear sight you're gonna lose with it and that's just kinda how it is with this one they don't have enough room to to put a front or a rear sight on. I maybe you could mill it out uh, for in front of the RMR, but I've not seen that on these yet. And uh, when you remove this, it does come with four adapter plates, which are right here. So you know the first plate I think is for uh, for RMRs and the Vortex Venom or Vipers. And I did get a I got a Vortex Venom with this firearm too, but. Uh, the screws were, so the guy stripped out the screws trying to get the uh, the RMR off it, or the, the Vortex off, and he called me the day that we were making this trade, and he's like, hey man, he's like, I can't get this red dot off, can you either give me a couple days, or you just want to, you know, buy it off me, so I was already on my way, and I was like, yeah, I'll just buy it off you, and he gave me a a decent price I gave him a better price <laughs> but we ended up settling on that one so 
The Vortex is currently on one of my arsenals right now. And uh, also, got with these adapter plates, they do come with, comes with this little charging lever, charging handle that you can put on it. It's pretty dumb for me, so I don't, I'm not dealing with it. And also it does come with different size adjustable magazine releases. And here's the fiber optics in this little bag, red and green. And an Allen key, and it's the only screw that I have left that is actually worth anything. But it also does have a match grade 5.2 inch barrel, so it makes it 8.2 inches uh, the length overall. And it is 6.2 inches high with the, the extended magazine. Without with the, the low cap mags, it's 5.7 inches in length. Let's get this case out of here. So, you know, it's a big gun. It's a competition gun. And it is 1.83 pounds. And for this slide release here, I have the, the large, or the magazine release. I have the large mag release in it. And it's nice because I don't have to, to remove my grip at all on this thing. So, for my little hobbit hands, it's, it's pretty nice. And uh, mags do come out free. It is uh, overall a nice gun. I'm going to go to a steel match with it on the first. So a couple weeks. And the magazine release is reversible. And also these magazines, these mechars, they're, they run around 25 30 bucks, So they're not too bad. The, the total gun, the gun MSRP is $554.99. You usually find them for about five hundred to five hundred twenty-five dollars, which, I mean, for everything you're getting, it's a it's a pretty good deal. And let's see, the only other couple things it does have a nineteen thirteen rail on it, and it does have lightning cuts on it. It is not a ported barrel. Uh, this is just to cut some weight, but I mean, the balance is real nice on it. It does have a striker indicator also. Of course, it's unloaded. So, the striker indicator. And it is a really nice trigger. It's uh, it's definitely, I mean, you know, the, the PPQ and this, I've seen some people you know, interchange slides and, and frames, and this is definitely a copy of the PPQ. And the trigger, I mean, it, it's right there with uh, the PPQ, and th that has the best striker trigger ever. You know, this one's got some take up. It's it's not spongy at all, and the break is crazy. I mean, the and reset is really short. So I don't know what the the trigger weighs. It's it's probably four and a half to five and a half pounds. But it is just like glass. Real nice trigger. And I know some guys that have 10, 15,000 rounds for these things. The only real issue that I've seen is the striker spring is a little, little heavy. And they're, you know, people are breaking uh, the, the spring or the strikers themselves. And I don't know. If, if they fix that or not, I'm just going to run this thing. It's not a defense pistol. It's just a comp pistol. So uh, I'm going to run it, see if it breaks. If it does, then I'll replace it. You know, no big deal. It does have a... I don't remember the warranty on this. I, it's It could be lifetime. It is imported through Century. So you'll have you know, Century arms on it. It's not made by them, but it is made in Turkey. The only other thing is it does have... Uh, an extended slide release here. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. I do have to to crack my grip just a little bit, but it's not bad. It does have a Glock style take uh, takedown, which is right here, and it is it's pretty smooth inside. I haven't done any polishing or anything. It does have small slide rails on it, just like a Glock, and. It's got a really beefy eject ejector on it. 
Man, I like that. And here's the the nose for, for the sear. Just uh, really small. I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna polish that up or not. It it's it's kind of built Glockish. I mean, the, the block in it in the front, and then the the striker safety. It it does remind me of a Glock, but. And the internals in the back. Uh, yeah, I could, I could go for a polish up here. But it is a captured. All the milling on it's real nice. It, it does have, I mean, it doesn't have metal where, where it doesn't need it. Everything's kind of milled out of it. And it's uh, a pretty light gun for what it is does have a real nice barrel on it and it is polished up pretty nice uh, I, probably from the factory I, I, th I think it is polished I'm gonna do a little more to it uh, when I did get this thing it was really dirty so uh, looks like it's a little dry too so I did a quick, quick clean on it but I'm gonna have to probably do a little polishing and then uh, oil this thing up before I take it out in a week but overall it's been nice I I did take it on a trip to uh, to our Kentucky trip but we never got around to shooting well I mean we're shooting a bunch of full auto stuff but this just sat in my bag and and didn't get it on the range but great trigger and uh, for the price I mean I basically paid I mean, with my trade, I, I don't know, I, I think I, with the trade, it, it probably would have come out to 350 bucks for me. Uh, they are out there, used. I don't see them too much. People really enjoy them, but they're out there. And if I like this thing, I'll keep it. If not, I'm just going to trade it in probably for a Q5 match, and hopefully that'll... <laughs> that'll Take the place of this maybe if I don't like it other than that if you guys have any questions uh, or anything I missed go ahead and leave it in the comments and hopefully we'll get some shooting video of it uh, next week